I am the scion of the mother tree. Her heart speaks through me. The scion of the mother tree. Let me talk to her, please. She and I have business. The mother is in danger. A shadow hunts her. You must rid us of the shadow. The shadow prince is on this island, seeking our annihilation. He is the master of the House of Shadows. He is a terror that breathes. You know him simply as the master, Sabine. It is time for vengeance. You must cut off its breath, then bring me its heart. The master. Where is he? He is a lizard. No doubt he slithers close to the temple of his fork-tongued goddess. Beware, for he brings the shadows with him. Sabille slides her hand in yours, makes your heart skip a beat with her particularly coquettish smile. I've something I need to tell you. You earned it just by being... you. You see, the thing is... She scrapes her throat, hesitates, almost as if she's... I... I'm afraid you're going to accuse me of killing the mood, but... I need to talk to you about the Master. No, not anymore, or so I hope. My dear sweet Losa, I've grown to trust you more than I've trusted anyone since since I've had names on my skin. Wasn't easy, I know. Come, sit down with me for a moment. You both sit down, cross-legged. Knees to knees, hand in hand. Suddenly, a melody. Sibyl sings a song, haunting in its simplicity. She uses no words, sounds rather. It's beautiful, yet somehow menacing. This is my scar song. It's all the master needs to make me his slave once more, unless your voice opposes his. I will soon confront him with you by my side. My life and my liberty I place in these soft, strong hands of yours. Will you sing? Good answer. Her cat's eyes close as she leans in for a kiss. You kiss. It's sweet and wonderful. You wish it could last forever. My word. You both get up and smile to one another warmly. When you hear a sound in the distance and turn to look, Sabeel pats you affectionately on the bottom. Adventure calls, but I say we do this again sometime. Sabeel touches your arm. Look, it's Sahela. Sabeel, it is so good to see you once more. I must speak with you. It is of the greatest importance. I am in the old sawmill, where the trees are butchered and the lone walls keep me captive once again. But you do not come. From there I escape with help. Do you like my new form? It serves its purpose. It allows me to speak to you, and it allows me to think. At last I see clearly. The mother is sick. She is weak. Her grip slips at last. You make her so. You kill her scions. You are strong now, Sabeel. You are prime scion. You are godwoken. This is a unique opportunity. The impossible is now possible. Kill her. Free us from her t Finish what you start. One more kill. You must strike at her heart. Do this for me. 
do this for all of us. Set. You want the mother tree dead? Quite the change of heart since last we met. I know. But now she is weak. I can speak truth. The mother stops progress. The mother stops lovers. The mother forbids. The mother commands. The mother plots. The mother wants vengeance. She is hollow. But all elves want is to live. I know I can count on you, Seville. You who loves her freedom above all. You must climb the temple to find the mother's heart. And then you must destroy it. Set yourself free, Sabil. Set us all free. There's no time to waste.
the seven shall be put right, thanks to the God King. One step, then another, ever clo another step, ever closer. The eyes of predators meet. Sabil. He snaps his fingers, and she involuntarily snaps to attack. Here you go, breaking my heart. That's the plan, mastermind. He sighs, sadly. I don't begrudge you your freedom, Sabil. Your escape relieved me of having to witness I would have watched you. Like I have, I'm very fond of you. The feeling's not quite mutual. Not yet. Another snap. Different fingers. Different... Utter control. The tool of a tyrant you... Let me indulge you with an explanation. Everything I do, I do for a much greater... She's the prime scion. It had to be her. It was all so very... What I did had to be done, Sabeel. And I had to... Sabeel slowly draws her needle. Time to get to the point. My, my. You still have the needle I gave you. How very gratifying. A fine instrument, is it not? Precise. Exact. Just like me. You should know that I forced you to shed the blood of Scions because Ra- Here's the final truth, Sabeel. The true- The Mother Tree and her Scions do not seek to carve out their own part of peace in this world. They seek- They want their roots to conquer every last inch. You finally figured that out, did you? But there is merit to my madness. I don't begrudge you your freedom, Sabeel. All you see is red. You've lost sight of all... You've no hope whatsoever of defeat. He sings. The scar song swells. A thousand tiny needles in Sabeel's soul. She looks at you with hope and defiance. Gives this... Your voice harmonizes with the master's. Stunned, he hesitates. And yours becomes the dominant melody. Sabeel is free from his influence. Dear me, you're a miracle worker. I'll take it from here. The patient cat finally pounces. She strikes, precisely, exactly. Her needle pierces his neck, spears his vocal cords, filling his throat with blood. Checkmated and muted, he staggers back, all a feared fury. This is it. It's time to kill the master.
The air is thick with heavy flakes of ash. The altar before you seems to radiate heat as you approach. There is a blinding flash and you are surrounded by flame. It licks your skin, enveloping you, but does not burn. Looking up, you see Zor Stissa sitting on an ember throne, surrounded by faintly glowing stars. Her eyes are mocking and angry, but you can see that her scales are starting to flake and fall. She hisses that you have wasted your time. You are weak. Why are you here? She growls, claws digging into the smouldering charcoal of her throne. My champion will ascend. No other can overcome trial by flame. You hear a punctuated hiss. The lizard is chuckling. There is no challenge, Godwoken. There is only flame. The lizard slams her fist against her throne, sending embers flying. One of the stars and the flames around you flare, and you're enveloped in an inferno. The fire rips through you, scorching your flesh. The vision fades, leaving only the blazing fire, a glowing sun emblem on the altar, and the echoing laughter of a malicious god. Reading of the wonders of Zolstissa, it's clear where her people get their feelings of supremacy from. Might I prevail upon you to answer a question? You see, I am on a mission most grave. I seek a sorcerer most foul, most reviled. His pincers scissor wildly. Scepter the ineffable! Have you heard tell of this wicked beast on your travels? I shall slay her with a single thrust of my sword-like claw, for mine is an ancient and noble order, bent on destroying that which would destroy. Scepter is a sorcerer, and I am a sorce hunter. Useful, no doubt. The place is crawling with sorcerers and dark ones, too. None of Scepter's conspirators, as far as I can tell. We are very lucky indeed. What? I have no wish to spill your blood on this day, abomination. But I must ask, are you in league with the Dark Beast Scepter? Very well. I must save my strength for the great war against Scepter. I shall allow you to live. For now. The hunt continues.
A black ring priestess turns to you. Her astonishing beauty takes your breath away. Her gaze drifts past you, and you realize that she's blind. She breathes in, as if tasting the air, as if tasting you. She produces a mirror of darkest black, holds it up as if to look upon her own magnificence, and then speaks as if to herself. I found God woken. She waits a moment, as if listening to her own reflection. It shall be done, O oh, sallow one. She closes the mirror, looks at you directly, almost as if she can see you, and then she smiles. A smile. The dreamer remains deep in his reverie. The voice flo- Serve the god king. His price is blood.